सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट हेलो दिस वीडियो विल गिव यू अ सेक्शन वाइज समरी ऑफ द पोएम डिजेक्शन एंड ओड रिटन बाय सैमुअल टेलर कोलरिज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पोएम Dejection and Ode is a poem by S.T. Coleridge written in 1802 and was first published in the same year in the Morning Post. The poem was initially dedicated to Sarah Hutchinson, a woman who was the author's wife and expresses the writer's feelings of love for her. The original draft was titled Letter to Sarah Hutchinson, but it transformed into Dejection when the author decided to publish it. The poem explores the themes of despair, joy and imagination. It delves into the emotional state of dejection, portraying a sense of colorless hopelessness. The poem suggests that it is the power of imagination that can bring meaning and beauty back into the world. Let us now look at the summary. Section 1. The poet says that if the person who wrote the old song about Sir Patrick Spens knew as much about the weather as it seems, which is currently calm, we likely be disturbed by rougher winds. The poet describes the clouds and mentions the new moon, suggesting that a storm is approaching. The poet expresses a desire for the storm to arrive, bringing heavy rain and loud sounds, hoping that the storm's intensity might break through their numb suffering and give it some life. Summary of section two. The poet is experiencing a deep, empty, and dark despair that feels stifling and exhausting. This emotion lacks any sensation and even talking about it or crying doesn't to seem to help. Despite this, the song of a little bird and the unusual color of the western sky, signaling an approaching storm, have momentarily distracted him. Although he observes the beautiful sky and its features, he is unable to feel their beauty due to the persistent numbness and emptiness within him. Summary of section 3 The speaker can't find joy in beautiful sights alone. He was wrong to think they could lift the heavy pain in his heart. Trying to change how he feels by looking at the unusual green sunset light is pointless. The vibrant feelings and animation he longs for must come from within, not just from external things he sees. Summary of section 4. The speaker tells his daddy that what they receive from the world is influenced by what they give to it their feelings shape the natural world making it beautiful or frightening to experience something better their souls need to emit a special glorious light creating sweetness and power in all sounds every beautiful sound is brought to life by the soul summary of section 5 The speaker tells the lady that the soulful music and beautiful light come from joy which is the purest experience in life is pure momentous joy is compared to life itself flowing like a cloud and rain connecting with nature gives us a joy creating a heavenly world beyond the imagination of the greedy or ego driven joy is the source of delightful sounds and shining colors echoing in melodies and gently illuminating the world Summary of section 6 The speaker reflects on a past time when joy turned into challenge into a playful game with hope surrounding him like vines of future happiness however current struggles weigh heavily not just in making him unhappy but robbing the power of his imagination the speaker tried to cope by avoiding feelings bringing himself in steadies but the numbness spread becoming the usual state of his soul Summary of section 7 The speaker dismisses disturbing thoughts and turns attention to the howling wind describing it as a tormented scream like a crazed lute player The wind is likened to hosting a demonic christmas party in a rainy month creating a tragic performance The narrator shifts to a quieter tale of a lost child in a desolate wilderness mourning with sadness and terror hoping her mother will hear her amidst the storm's changing stories Summary of section 8 At midnight the speaker wishes for his lady to have a peaceful sleep he hopes the mountain storm either brings something new or is just a fuss he wishes the stars quietly shine over her house and she wakes with a light heart happy dreams and cheer the poet then prays that joy might lift her spirits 
making the whole world feel vividly alive to her. The speaker desires his dear lady, guided by God, to always feel joy, blending her life with the world like a flowing stream.